The first flight of the new Brahmos NG missile will be conducted before the end of 2025. The Indian Navy is looking to start construction of a new airbase at Kawar in a year, and plans to have a fully operational 2.7 km runway in four years along with other allied infrastructure. The Indian Navy conducted an exercise on the East Coast with ships, submarines, aircraft and special forces, to check its preparedness to meet any maritime security challenges. L&T Shipyard held the steel-cutting ceremony of the 3rd Cadet Training Ship for the Indian Navy. A Dornier 228 aircraft was spotted with a hump on the upper fuselage, which suggests that it houses a satellite uplink system, which enables real-time transfer of observation data collected by its sensors. Ahead of the parliamentary polls in the Maldives, the opposition parties have demanded a probe and impeachment of the Maldivian president, following the leaked report of his alleged corruption from 2018, that includes irregularities in money transfers to his personal bank account. A Chinese Air Force's H-6 bomber was spotted carrying the WZ-8 high-speed reconnaissance drone under its fuselage, which was primarily intended for high-altitude strategic aerial reconnaissance missions. The Indian Institute of Technology and the DRDO have joined forces to develop multi-agent amphibious quadcopter system, bio-inspired flapping wing model, and smart apparel for desert warfare. Despite Nigeria expressing interest in procuring Tejas fighter jets in the past, latest media reports indicate that the Nigerian Air Force has struck a 1.2 billion euro deal with the Italian defense company Leonardo for the supply of 24 M346 Master aircraft, which is a light combat version of the M346 advanced jet trainer. Nigeria had also expressed interest in the Prachan light combat helicopter but inducted 6129 attack helicopters from Turkey in February this year. Questions have been raised behind the rationale to develop the 90 kN cavalry 2.0 engine for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet, as the 110 kN engine that will be jointly developed by the RDO and foreign partner for the AMCA program, could also be detuned to reduce its thrust output to power the Tejas Mark 1A, and can also be upgraded to 130 kN for future 6th generation fighter program. It might take a decade for the gas turbine research establishment to increase the cavalry engine output to 90 kN with a significant investment of funds, but the same can be done at a fraction of the cost with the jointly developed AMCA engine at a lower cost. The Indian Defence Secretary visited facility of Larsen and Tubro, and was briefed on indigenous SOV-400 Special Operations Midget Submarine. It has a displacement of less than 500 tons, an endurance of 20 days, and can carry two 533mm torpedoes. The Defence Secretary was also briefed on L&T's Vega unmanned surface vessel kit, that can be interfaced with any vessel, to be used in fully autonomous semi-autonomous and remote operations mode, for intelligence surveillance target acquisition and mine countermeasure operations. Today's Top 3 Comments